they basically eat what I eat. I had no goals of even adopting her with crabs, but we have 15. They don't want to be alone. Like this better with buddies. Some are more active, some more friendly. You go to the pet store and they look like easy pets. And I didn't think about it either. How did they get from their natural seashell to that shell? Well, it can be a pretty brutal process. There's just thousands of them that are scooped up from beaches. There's machines that actually crack open their shell. Many crabs are damaged or killed during that process. And they put them in painted shells. Hermit crabs need very moist air to breathe. They're slowly suffocating. They're marketed as toys, as souvenirs, and by the time they end up at the pet store, most of them will unfortunately not survive. Started noticing ads on Craigslist that all said the same thing. There was an ad on Craigslist this morning. A guy got it from a pet store and then realized he couldn't take care of it, so I'm gonna go get it. We now have pajamas crib. I never envisioned myself being a hermit crab rescuer. Not my full-time job. Oh, there he goes. I think he's gonna hide. It's probably a little scary for him. Hopefully he'll ditch that painted shell and pick something from the shell shop. It also doesn't look as stupid. This is typically what hermit crabs are sold in, but this is what they should be in. Ideally, if I ever move to the Caribbean, you know, I could release them all back into the wild. The next best thing we can do is give them a little slice of the beach life. Best thing you can do if you have hermit crabs is just get your tank set up properly. I encourage people not to buy them. It's not an industry that needs to exist. Let's just let them live their best beach life. That's what they want to do. Life is about to get a lot better.